Hi, I'm Dan Renicki with Unknown Media, and today I'm going to show you some burning techniques in black and white photography. Now for this, we're going to need to go into our photo editing software, so let's go ahead and head there now. All right, so here we are in our photo editing software. I'm going to show you a couple different burning techniques, the first of which is a common one, but it's not necessarily one I like. Go ahead and duplicate the layer, select OK. Now all you're going to do is grab the burn tool right here. Now what this is going to do, it's going to burn your photo just as you would expect. And it's not bad, especially you know if you know what you're doing, if you got a light touch and everything, you can definitely make this tool work. But let's say, drawn over here, drawn over here, and then all of a sudden, maybe I don't like this over here. Now as you can see, it's, it's just a layer that we're, we're basically painting on, so we can't really do anything about it except for delete it, which is why I don't like it. So we'll go ahead, trash can this. Now I'm going to show you the way that I burn all of my photos. With the background selected, go ahead and add a curves adjustment layer. Select it here, go ahead and pull down. Now as you can see, this is darkening the whole photo. It's basically burning the whole photo all together at once. So what we're going to do is go up here and select our masks and go ahead and we're going to invert that. Now what that did is actually hid the entire layer mask as you can see here. So all we have to do is select our paintbrush tool, change the foreground color to white, and we'll go ahead and drop that opacity down to, let's go 30. Now all we have to do is just reveal that mask below. Now what that's actually doing, it's not painting on anything. It's not painting on a layer. It's, there's no destruction to the actual photo. All you're doing is revealing that curves layer. That's all you're doing. And what's really nice about this, let's go ahead and crank the opacity all the way up to 100. If you do something like this, Let's hope on accident, let's hope you do it on accident. But anyway, let's say you don't like this at all. That's fine because again, you're not painting on anything. All you're doing is revealing a mask. So all you need to do with that layer mask selected, just go ahead and flip flop that right there. So your foreground color is set to black. And now all you do is hide it just like that. And again, it's not destructive at all. All you're doing is revealing and hiding that mask. It's a non-destructive way of getting burns done on your photos. And those were some burning techniques in black and white photography. I'm Dan Renicki. Take your best shot.